Uh, data contracts are typically an internal agreement between data producer and data consumer. And what they might consist of is say, a definition of schema, the semantics of the data, maybe some SLA and, and kind of terms of, of use of the data. And they're typically done in a structured format, consistent across teams. Uh, and it of, often also comes with a cultural change in the organization, often maybe a pairing of the CDO and the CTO to actually bring a lot more accountability to, to data teams upstream. Uh, the reason for, for data contracts extends from the fact that, that we've had this challenge within data teams of data producers really not understanding the downstream use cases of data. Really that's come from a lack of visibility and as we attempt to bring more visibility to these teams and actually extend into using the data for machine learning, for production level consumer facing apps, we actually need a much higher standard of data and so data teams are really striving now for these data contracts uh, in the these particular cases where they want to put in place a much stronger understanding and a set of requirements around the data produced and how it can change over time. At its primitive level, this can, can sort of start with some definition in a, in a Google document, but really we see this come to life often through, say, a JSON format, Avro, a protobuf, and then often attached to that, you have a, a schema registry where you're actually reading and writing changes to the to the contract. I think contracts are, are inevitable to some sense as we extend uh, our data teams into supporting more business use cases that directly drive revenue for the business. There's just a requirement around certain data products to, to have a higher degree of quality built into the data and reliability over time that will require contracts with these upstream data producers or software engineering teams. I think one of the open questions is how do you get the right mix of incentives to encourage these software engineering or data producing teams to, to participate in a contract structure? And another one is, is practically how do you get people to slow down at the start of a, a a launch to actually cater for these uh, requirements that go into a contract. I think they will at least initially start very focused. You can think of machine learning applications for the business. You can also think of financial data that, that needs to be accurate down to the penny and readily available. And so these are the logical places to begin with a data contract. Over time, we might see that, that world expand, but I think initially it's going to be tackling these high value revenue producing or, or critical reporting out to the street use cases.